What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I almost did something insanely, um, not irresponsible, but I almost did something to where I showed my support for Grok in the largest way. Almost. Right? I'm going to say almost. And the reason why I didn't do it, um, honestly, I don't think it's any type of blessing or anything. I wanted to get more, and um, I, I didn't end up getting more. So I wanted to hold a million uh, Grok. I didn't almost buy a million Grok, but I almost had a million Grok yesterday as I went through transactions. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about Grok. Let's talk about the potential within it and why I was about to invest in another 600,000 uh, Grok coins valuing um, being valued at around $3,000 $3, and hopefully could be valued at a million dollars. Um, let's talk about that. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. One of those links being for my personal Patreon, as well as for HD Access if you want to sign up for that, where we have a bunch of different alpha plays, um, you know, meme coin plays, uh, consistent gainers, um, you know, all types of things within this Discord group. I have my own section. Other YouTubers have their own section. You're getting a plethora of YouTubers. It's not just me. Um, but if you want to just sign up for my personal discord, you can always, or my personal, uh, Patreon, you can always do that. Feel free to contact me. We can talk about different things investment wise, or we can have our one-on-one -on -one meetings every single month. We could do a one-on-one -on -one meeting and just talk about your portfolio. Um, we've had various one-on-one -on -one meetings that actually I was supposed to post, um, last month, but I just totally forgot about it. So anyways, feel free to, uh, you know, check out my Patreon and, um, or the HG access. Also, if you guys want to check out, um, you know, Margex and start trading on Margex, it is a great platform where you can trade up to 100x leverage. And um, yeah, I just really like the platform. I've been using it for a while. But if we talk about Grok and look where Grok is, it currently is at 51% um, of a penny, which honestly aligns itself closer to where like Jasmine is when it comes to price. But you're looking at way less supply than what Jasmine has. So when you factor that in and you factor in the, the popularity and the potential growth, the potential push for where this can go, it opens up your eyes to what this could possibly be uh, for you investment wise, because it is a meme coin. That's all it's about is really that investment side of things. Um, but if you look at the current uh, volume, you're seeing $10 million worth of volume, which honestly is great. Um, you're seeing a fully diluted market cap of $35.5 million. Um, you're seeing the price point that definitely hit a, a lower point and is falling down from 76% of a penny all the way down to 51% of 51% of a penny or actually 49% of a penny. If we look at the last month, it went from a value of about 1.7 cents down to 51% of a penny. If you look at the last year, which hasn't been a year, but you look at the last maybe two months since it's been launched, you can see that it goes from 3 cents up here all the way down to this 51% of a penny level. It's early stages for Croc. Now, some people may go, you know what? It's done. There's no more volume, no more attention, anything like that. They did take away the Twitter account. So it does take away that uh, voice on Twitter, which honestly was creating all of the traction, creating all of the interest, um, you know, within that play. And honestly, I believe it will come back eventually, but right now it's not here. So we're seeing this at 51% of a penny down 66% from the starting point from where this really launched at. Now we did find a way to decrease down here before, uh, down to about 54% of a penny, but now we're seeing this even lower at 51 or 49% of a penny. So this is the lowest point I believe that we got to overall. If we look at the uh, high to low, I can't really find exactly where that is. Let's see if we can find that. If we look at the uh, 52 week or all time high and all time low, we're gonna see that the all time high is about three cents. The all time low is um, on November 18th. We saw it at 42% of a penny. So I guess it did uh, drop down here, uh, down here. But for here, it shows that it was down to 59 or sorry, 49% of a penny. It shows that it was a little bit lower than where we were. Um, but anyways, this definitely has a lot of potential. Now, when we look at the markets, it has plenty of markets that are available. You have OrangeX, you have, you know, Gate.io, you have MEXC, you have all these different platforms that you can trade it on. And it doesn't have any tier one um, exchanges. It has borderline tier one exchanges. Um, but what it does have is the possibility of 
finding a way on those tier one or S tier exchanges, which can create a ton more volume there. Right now, I have no ability to buy outside of Uniswap and BitMart. I don't know if I have the ability to trade on OrangeX. I would like to test it out just because I don't know why it just seems like a, a good platform, an interesting platform, which has come up out of nowhere, honestly, because I haven't mentioned OrangeX until I started talking about Terra Luna Classic Burns a little bit more, more recently. Um, so I don't know where OrangeX came from, if it's always been here, but it went from like 21 or 20,000 uh, followers on Twitter to a, a lot more, and it continues to gain more and more attention there. Um, but anyways, Grok, I was going to buy a decent amount yesterday. I see an opportunity within this price, and especially where it can go, one cent, two cents, three cents, is a no-brainer, right? You're looking at a $100 million market cap. It was at a $170 million market cap. I truly believe <clears throat> that it can get to these points. Um, so where we're seeing this at right now, it created a huge opportunity. And I was like, I should buy more. My current cost basis is 1.1 cent, which would be a six, um, $69 million market cap would be around a one cent price. Um, 70 or $100 million market cap would get me over that hump and it would be worth a lot more. Getting back to three cents, which I believe it definitely will do, um, would give me the ability to maybe capture my initial investment at that point and see the rest in there, right? So that's kind of what I wanted to do is see it from where I am. And if I invest more than what I invested into now, so say if I double down, because currently I have 415,000 grok. And if I invest a little bit more, get to 600,000, invest more than what I had in before, but spend less, honestly, which is crazy, um, then I would be able to lower my cost basis back down below one cent, closer to where we are price-wise. Now, I haven't run into any type of major cash to do that, but I was going to do that yesterday with uh, a good uh, amount of cash, just taking kind of a risk, honestly. Um, now, as I was going through that transfer, I was bridging. So I ended up bridging over or tried to bridge from, from uh, USDT, ETH, uh, or sorry, B BNB USDT, over to, um, you know, ETH Grok. And as I was bridging, you know, it was going to cost a decent amount. It was going to cost $66 in order to bridge over. I was like, all right, that's fine. I can, I can spend $66 to get whatever I'm planning on getting. I'm going to get a lot more whenever it does get back to three cents. Um, because that'll be at a value for three cents. It'll um, be at a value of $30,000. And then, you know, um, yeah, something like that, right? So $30,000. Um, and I would have been hype, right? And then even at 10 cents, it would have been $100,000. At a at dollar, it would have been a million dollars. So I know what I, what I plan on doing, what I plan on taking from that. And even if I decided to take a third of that, right? So take $10,000. I now take my entire initial investment. I'm sitting in there with um, 600,000 grok invested for no money. That's what I'm looking at, right? As you do see it get back to those points. Um, but it cost me $66. The bridge failed. I didn't end up getting what I wanted to get. And now I'm not, I don't have the coins as well as I spent $66 on this failed bridge. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to go through with this bridge again. If it's going to fail again, that's, I didn't even have enough, right? I only bought a um, hundred dollars worth of BNB. So I didn't have enough to really go through. So then I ended up transferring everything to BNB and just, um, as you can see, swapping uh, USDT for BNB, which I sold the BNB or sent the BNB over to my wallet and just put it in my bank account. So honestly, I could go the route of using my bank account to buy ETH and then doing it on MetaMask itself, but I also would spend a lot of money by, you know, buying, and I think MetaMask is like 1%. So I didn't plan on doing that either. So now I'm just sitting kind of in limbo, not buying anymore, unless we come into a decent amount of money on the ETH side. If we come into a decent amount of money directly on ETH, yes, I'll transfer it directly to MetaMask and we'll see that, uh, you know, happen. We'll see that I'm able to, um, you know, buy those tokens which would be um, great to have that. However, I didn't actually get the chance to hold 1 million. I was so close, this close to having 1 million grok. And as I put on Twitter, because it failed, now I, I bought a little bit more XRP as well as throwing all of the money that I had here into, the, into my bank account. And I also made another purchase that I put out 
on um, Patreon and uh, on HD Access. Anyways, guys, that's my video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, follow the HD Access Patreon, or check out Marjex. All of those links should be in the description. Guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.